3rd, 2010. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We are now northbound in Apple Valley, Minnesota, on Johnny Cake Ridge Road, uh, heading towards the uh, School of Environmental Studies. of things we've gotten here just at the end of the uh, normal school day so I may be able to intercept the uh, her science teacher to learn a little bit more about uh, what's uh, currently on deck uh, with their various uh, uh, partners and nonprofit organization uh, uh, co-sponsors so we've got uh, quite a bit of uh, information here from Dakota Electric about wind turbines. The uh, control center, kind of a uh, process flow chart here. So I guess I better go in and get myself registered so I don't get uh, on the wrong side of the uh, county police department or sheriff's office. Well, I missed connections with Steve Meyer, who was my original contact. He's now at Eastview High School, but I did connect with Brad Johnson, who's a uh, environmental science instructor here. So uh, pass the word along about our geoventuring efforts with the Minnesota Futurists. I'm going to go outside here and see if I can see the uh, sign about the uh, pond restoration project. Looks like we've got some kind of a skimmer water sampling craft here. Got uh, little compartments for uh, storing samples. You can see a rather steep bank here going down to the dock. Has some kind of a utility or storage box. And we've got the uh, funding assistance provided by Minnesota Environmental and Natural Resources Trust Fund. Birch Pond history, remnant of the superior lobe of the Wisconsin Glacier, retreated from Dakota County about 10,000 years ago. Became part of the School of Environmental Studies campus when it was built in 1995. Catches runoff from the building's parking lot, uses a teaching station. So we're looking at uh, various ways to maintain the water quality and, and health of this habitat. See other signs of uh, feeding stations here for various bio critters. And we can see uh, some additional stations out in the center of the pond. 